every Chinese New Year, we'll gather here to make love letters where my mom and I were sitting here. My second sis would be the scooper, middle sister watching the moles. My elder sis will remove love letter from the mole and pass it to me, so I'm the roller. My younger sister helps to pack it. My brother is the fire watcher. If it's too hot, you'll get burned once. If the fire's not hot enough, then it's too slow, then you know it will take longer time to finish. So if the fire is consistent, then the colour is consistent, everything is very fast. Right now, we are using the charcoal stove. She needs to watch the water, she needs to watch the fire. So it takes about two and a half hours to three hours to steam a small one. Got the smokiness lah. I also noticed there's pandan leaves. Yeah, water, yeah. Give it that pandan um, aroma. You can make it using electric stove or ga uh, gas stove, but be prepared for a high electricity bill or you know change your gas canister very often. I've tasted others outside. Once you eat it, sometimes it sticks to your teeth. The other one is sometimes it's too hard. Whereas for this one, maybe I'm biased towards my mom's ningkau lah. I just find that it's the kokan is very different. There's oil in the pepper. That's All stick together. Because very fresh. It's like my older girl, last time Nian Kao don't like to eat. Now you see the Nian Kao, oh I want! And then you know, one time wipe three, four pieces. Ipo is actually a traditional Hainanese kueh. It's eaten during auspicious occasions like weddings, birthday one month, or even like Kuo uh, Tali. In your family, eating of Ipo started with Somebody special. Started with my an yeah. anyo, so it's like a grand pila. Yeah. I really love this kueh because I grew up eating her kind of ipua. After that, when she passed on, we never eat it anymore. Very hard to find the ipua. Finally, my brother said, "Yeah, it's almost there." And that's when I know that okay lah, I'm getting it already. Okay, so basically, I'm just pouring out the ingredients I need to make for my ipua. So the ingredients here will make about 10 to 12 ipua, depending on the size of your uh, ipua. Now 
not many young people will enjoy too much ginger. So for mine, I actually reduce the ginger a bit. But if the person that orders from me tells me that it's for my grandmother, then I know I can add in a little bit more ginger because old people prefer small gingers. Because coconut goes very well with gula melaka, so it enhances the taste, the smell, the fragrance. So if you don't have palm sugar, you can use brown sugar. We're either using brown sugar. Is there any difference in terms of flavors? And so of course there is lah, you know. So normally at this point our smell, okay, it's yeah good. Mm, okay, can add a bit more sugar. Well, it's cooling about 15 20 minutes. Okay, it's ready. How, how do you know it's ready? I'll stretch it and see if there's any crack marks. I normally put about two spoonful la. Okay, this is done now. Mm. This is Hainanese Iwa. <laughs> How do you see the tradition being passed on? I hope that my nieces and my nephews will continue Next year, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we can have more people in a household that can come and visit my mom. Then that's where maybe we can start doing the love letters again. Lah.